We want to turn now to New York where we're getting an update on the investigation into the deadly limousine crash over the weekend. We Let's listen in. We were active on their cell phones prior to the crash, both texting and on social media. We are asking that anyone who may have been in contact with the victims before the crash give us a call at 518-630-1700. I will open up to questions, but be, uh, you know, you have to understand that this is an ongoing invest criminal investigation at this point. First, based on what I you noticed doing. early in the investigation, can you tell us whether or not that vehicle should have been on the road now that you say uh, the driver didn't even have the license, the proper license to operate it? Well, the driver didn't have the proper license to operate it, so no, it shouldn't have been on the road. The vehicle, the vehicle uh, was it? outdated was it properly fit well that the, that company and that vehicle have been under scrutiny of dot in the past that's all i can say about Your that opinion, was there negligence on the part of someone to allow this on the road that's part of our criminal investigation do you have anything on the driver in terms of a criminal history and a driving history where he was in previous accidents uh, we're not really saying information they said that, that regard. they voluntarily gave up their vehicles did you go in and seize those vehicles yes we seized the vehicles based on a search warrant how many three vehicles in addition to the one that, that crashed. Can you explain what kind of vehicles they were? Were they other stretch limo bus? I believe two of them were town car stretch limos. I'm not sure the third. Sir, it strikes me as remarkable that in this case, you have all of the people who were in the limo and two bystanders who are now deceased who would have been, I imagine, pretty good witnesses to what was happening prior to the crash. You talked about text messages. We've already seen reports that people on the limo were sending out text messages, potentially talking about the fact that it was, be, it was very loud, mm -hmm. it seemed unkempt. Can you talk about what you're learning from people who are stepping forward, offering you that information, mm -hmm. and how critical is that to putting the pieces of this together well, uh, without living witnesses? All the information we can get is critical. The black box information, the crime scene investigation, interviews, text messages, photos, anything we can find will put together the full picture to find out if there's some criminal culpability on the part of anyone. Already were people complaining via these texts that you've seen that something maybe just wasn't right about this? I'm not gonna get into specifics Major, on that. Major, do you know if the family members have told you at this point that, that the victims had sought a bus rather than a limo? I believe that they had tried to hire a different vehicle, but it canceled for some reason, so the subject in charge of this excursion um, scrambled and found this company to uh, satisfy their needs for the Did day. Did they seek a bus or something larger or something different? I don't know. Was it the same Sorry. company, Major? No, it was not. Have you spoken with the owner of the company? Have you spoken with him? Excuse me? Have you spoken with the owner of the company? Have you located him? We have located uh, the owner of the company, yes. Can you confirm his name is Shahed Hussein? Yes. Is he in Pakistan currently? Yes. And his sons are running it. Man. One at a time, guys. Does Mr. say the same man who was involved in the Albany 2 case in 2004? Excuse me? Is Mr. Hussein the same man who testified in the federal criminal case against uh, the Albany 2, the pizza shop? I would refer you to the FBI. Can you tell us anything about whether the driver was texting or the driver was somehow impaired? Do you know anything about that yet? Uh, that will all be part of our investigation. And when it comes to the vehicle, just to be clear, it was uh, Governor Cuomo suggested or said that the vehicle had been inspected last month by the U.S. Department of Transportation for, and failed inspection. So yeah. do you know if that's true or not? You're not saying it's true? Or the vehicle has been inspected in the past and has failed inspections. Can you say what that was? Like why it failed? Uh, no, I can't get into this. You have to talk to DOT can about that. Can you clarify, that. is the owner still out of the country? Yes, he is. Do you face his criminal charges? That will be part of our investigation. We'll, we'll determine if there's any criminal criminal culpability on a part of anyone. Last if question. there is, we'll hold them accountable for it. The folks at the hospital who are doing the autopsies, I'm wondering how those folks, the medical staff, is doing as they as they embark on this. Are you in touch with them, and, and how's that going for them? It's a very difficult investigation for us to do. You know, we, we investigate fatal crashes all the time, year-round. But this one is, the magnitude of this one is, is a, you know, how about different this? for us. How about the road there? I mean, it comes down a big hill. What have you learned about the dangerousness of that uh, hill? Yeah, that's all part of the investigation. How dangerous was it to put a car like this on the road? Excuse me? How dangerous was it for someone to put a car like this on the road knowing the problems? We'll, we'll that determine road. that. And if it's criminal, we'll prosecute. Major, so 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 the the so how can a modified vehicle like this? The NTSB be speaking, ma'am? Yes. 
We're take we were just line. listening in to New York State Police giving us an update on the ongoing criminal investigation into that deadly limousine crash that killed 20 people over the weekend on Saturday in Schoharie, New York. We just heard the major say that that driver of the limousine should never have been on the road. That vehicle should never have been on the road. It had failed inspections just recently. He also went on to say that all of the passengers inside the limousine, they were active on social media just moments before that deadly crash. They're using that information, looking at their text messages and looking at their posts to see if they can piece all of this together. They also, the major was asked about the owner of the company and if he will face criminal prosecution. If they find that he is at fault, they will proceed with that. Again, it's an ongoing criminal uh, investigation at this point. 20 people were killed among those passengers, four sisters and two newlyweds. We're going to continue to bring you the latest updates on this story right here on CBSN all throughout the day. We'll be right back.